You can use either WAMP or MAMP on Windows to set up your local host or local server. I'm going to show you how to install MAMP here because uh, WAMP server has been having some issues recently and uh, basically my semantic tells me not to trust it and beyond that it seems to be on high alert. So something seems off with them right now. However, uh, MAMP is definitely de trustable and also they just created a Windows version fairly recently. So the first thing you need to do is go to mamp.info slash en and then slash downloads. If you just go to MAMP, you'll find it soon enough. Type MAMP into Google and click on MAMP and MAMP Pro. Go to Downloads, Windows, and hit Download. I've already downloaded mine just to save some time, so let's double click on that now. Click through the wizard here. Um, you can deselect MAMP Pro, we won't need that. Of course you accept the agreement without reading it. Click Next. Setup will install MAMP into the following folder. Um, it's probably good that it has its own folder, so leave it like so. Setup will locate the program shortcuts in the following, say, uh, whatever. All this jazz. Create a desktop icon. Might be useful for you, might not be. I'm not going to on Windows 10. It's so easy to search for stuff. It's not worth it. Let's hit install. I'll catch you in a few minutes. All right, we'll click finish. And voila, MAMP is installed. So let's go to Windows and type in MAMP. Allow access. Always allow access. Um... Allow access. Oops. All right, and we'll see up here that um, when you start MAMP, it starts the servers automatically, but we have an Apache server running and a MySQL server. Now, if we click on, on Open Start page, we'll see that it gives us a bunch of information about our server. It's on local host. Uh, MySQL is on port 3306. And a bunch of stuff that probably doesn't make well it doesn't make much sense to me to be to be quite honest because I'm not you know because uh, it's not that important so but let's go back here and go to preferences all right start servers when starting MAMP that's good start page URL MAMP um, that's fine well, let's go to web server. And here we can see that the document's root, and this is really important when we're creating a website in MAMP, is going to be under C MAMP HT Docs. So that's our root folder. That's that's kind of our website root folder. Anything we create in Sublime, a text editor, brackets or whatnot, our index, our CSS files, our folders, etc., needs to be put into this HT Docs folder um, for it to be viewable, for it to be run. Now here you can actually select a different folder and change it. I don't recommend you do that because if you do that, it might be kind of hard to find later on. Just know that your website on your computer is going to be stored in the MAMP slash htdocs folder. We can open that right now and there's nothing here. So let's see. Um, let's move. I've created a file called index, I believe. So let's cut this and paste it in this folder and um, let's paste it in this folder and double click on it, open it with Chrome and success. So our file is going to be opening fine on this. What if we do if we just type localhost up here which is our server name um, you'll also see success so it's loading correctly. This is our index it's in our um, it's in our MAMP htdocs folder and voila, we have a server running on our machine. 
The reason we're doing this again is so that you can run JavaScript from your machine without having to upload it all the time to the internet and test it on there. Um, for security purposes, your browsers won't run JavaScript that's on the machine. Thanks for watching, and nice work.